Hi guys, it's Victoria, and I forgot to make an intro for this video, but this is just me setting up my June bullet journal spread, and I haven't done my bullet journal in literally so long, um, so I decided to make this video for you guys, and if you do your bullet journal spread for June while watching this video, make sure to post it on Instagram and tag me in it so I can see it. Okay guys, welcome to the video. Um, this is just me tracing out the word June with this horrible pencil and I hated it, but that's besides the point. And then I just took this blue marker and traced over it, just make it cute. And then I made this gross mistake. I hate that. Whatever, it's fine. So then I made this little like mini calendar and I've seen a lot of the bullet journal YouTubers do this and I thought it always looked really cute for them so I thought I would try it out. It didn't look great but I stopped bullet journaling for a while so I was trying to like get back into it and then I started making these lines just to kind of fill up space and I used all these different colors just to like have the vibe of summer and stuff like that and I thought it looked really cute. Also, I just want to say I am not the best bullet journaler and I like haven't done it in a really long time and I don't have great handwriting or drawing skills, but I think it's okay. And this is my month at a glance and basically I just do this simple layout every time, just these lines that make the weeks and stuff. And then I really messed up with like the counting there. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but um yeah, so that is me doing that, and then I put the days of the top, or just like the first letter letter of the days at the top, and then I numbered them all as well, and for some reason for Saturday, I put an A instead of an S, and I don't really know why, but we're just going to ignore it and pretend it didn't happen, um, but usually I don't do like a weekly spread, and I just do this one, but I decided um, this month to actually start getting back into bullet journaling, and you will see later on what I did. So clearly this is my monthly goals as you can tell by reading it and I really hate my handwriting but it's fine. So I just wrote out the goals that I wanted to hit for YouTube and for Instagram and I actually ended up having to change them later on because I already hit these things and it's not even June yet which is so freaking exciting. Um, so thank you guys. Um, but here I am making my mood tracker and I made all the letters different colors like in the word mood and then for tracker it's just purple but for the like days I made these little lollipops and I thought it like looked really cute with the summer theme so I just kind of made circles because I'm lazy and then I put the sticks and then I did like the spirals on the inside just because it made it go a little bit faster um but yeah So here is a little flip through. This is kind of what it looks like before I added all the other stuff to it. And I didn't actually film me adding everything to it. I'm sorry, but I ended up showing you later. And then here I just made a little extras thing if I wanted to add anything else. And then I did end up adding other things. So yeah. Okay, so since I didn't really do a whole lot with my bullet journal and this video is really short as I'm editing it, it's literally two minutes and like 30 seconds. Um, so I'm going to show you the stuff that I just added. I didn't think I was going to add a whole bunch, so I didn't really film it, um, but I did end up adding a lot to it, so I want to show you the rest of my June spread. And yeah, I plan on using my bullet journal a little more. The last time I used it, like actually was like, March or April. I didn't even use it in April. I used it in March some just for my video schedule. And other than that, I didn't like really use it for a while. But we're trying to get back on top of it. Um, so I'm going to show you the extra things that I added in. So obviously this is my month at a glance. And I just have the videos that are going up. And then we've got the monthly goals. I did have to change it because I already hit 400 subscribers. So I had to change it to 500, which is freaking awesome. Thank you guys so much. And I already hit 250 watch hours as well. So I changed it to 350. 
And I already hit 200 followers on Instagram, so I changed it to 250. So that is freaking awesome, guys. I am so happy about that. Um, and I can't thank you enough. And then on this page, we have my mood tracker. So I made little, like, lollipop type things for, like, the summer vibe, you know. And then um, this is all the stuff that I added. So things I want to do this month. My handwriting is literally horrible, so please don't mind it. Um, but I want to work super hard on YouTube, which I already am. I want to blog more. I want to play with my website. And I want to read more. I have another box if I want to put anything else. When quarantine is over, I want to get another guinea pig. I want to film videos that require going somewhere. I want to get a gym membership. And I want to work more. So, yeah. Then I have a skincare page, but I haven't really written anything in here yet. Because I haven't quite figured out my skincare um, routine. But I am working on it. And then we start the week things, which I haven't done in literally forever, but this is the first week. I just took sticky notes, cut them in half, and then took some washi tape, and then I wrote goals this week, and my camera is about to die, but it's basically the same for every week. These two don't have washi tape, and then this one does. So yeah, and the last one, they are full, and then I put what I accomplished, because I want to write that down at the end of the month, and that is it. I never made an outro for this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below, because I post every Sunday and Wednesday, and you don't want to miss one. Also, I have a bunch of fun content coming, so...